Hey there, I'm Sunali Singh, a 3D animator in games and welcome back to my Control Rig series. In the last video, we saw how to enable the Control Rig plugin and we added our custom character to the project. In this video, we'll take a look at Control Rig Blueprint and what are the various options available to us. So let's begin. So there are two ways you can create a control rig blueprint and what you get out of it is slightly different. Let's see what exactly is the difference. So let's go to the meshes folder and turn off our filter for now so that other asset types apart from skeletal mesh are also visible in the content browser. So for the first method, right click on the content browser and select control rig under animation menu. Select control rig and click on create. It'll ask for a name, so let's name it control rig test. You might notice that there is nothing on the preview icon and it's black. That's because it is a general control rig blueprint without any association to a particular joint setup. So in order to associate one, just open this blueprint and you will see a green button here which says import hierarchy. You can click on that and a pop-up will appear asking you to choose a skeletal mesh. You can select the mesh that you want to create controls for and then click on OK. Now you can see the entire joint hierarchy here along with the preview mesh in the viewport. If you go back to your content browser, you can see that the icon is not black anymore and displays the associated skeletal mesh. Now let's look at the second method which is much more efficient. Just right click on the skeletal mesh that you want to create control rig for and select create control rig. This will create a parallel folder which contains your newly created control rig. It does automatic naming by assigning a suffix control rig to the mesh name and also creates an association with the joint setup. Just open it and you'll see the associated rig under here. If you're new to Unreal Engine 4 or animation blueprints in general, then you might get confused thinking what's what. So let's break it down into sections quickly and that way you'll get to know what I'm referring to later in this video. For now, we can ignore the toolbar on the top and let's start from the top left if you have the default layout setup. On the top left, we have a viewport where we can see so many options, but let's just focus on the things that we are going to use. In the drop down here, you have the camera settings where you can change the camera FOV. Then you have options to set a default camera so that you can switch to it using the shortcut key Shift plus F. Then in the second tab, you can switch between different view modes such as orthographic or perspective. Then you have different rendering options to switch between lit, unlit and wireframe mode as per your needs. Then the main one is character tab. You have all these rendering options related to the character in the viewport. Here under bones, you have options to show and hide bones of your skeleton. So you can shift select on any option to pin it to the viewport for a quick access. You can see I've pinned these two here as I use it more often. If your character has cloth, you can go under clothing and change wind settings and other settings for visualization. And then under advanced, you have options to see your UVs for character mesh. Down here below the viewport, we have two tabs that is rig hierarchy and execution stack. Under the rig hierarchy tab, you'll see your joint hierarchy plus all the controls and spaces that you create. And the execution stack will display the complete flow or the order of execution that occurs in the rig graph. So you can easily see what gets executed first for easy debugging. If you right click on any operation listed under this tab and select focus on selection, that'll take you to that particular node on the graph. This rig graph is where the actual execution takes place. This is where you'll see all the nodes and connections to make your control rig functional. Below the rig graph, you'll see compiler results and find results. Compiler results will show the time it took to compile your nodes and logic and also displays if any error is present in the graph. 
and find results as the name suggests is a pretty handy tool to find anything on the graph quickly. For example, if you want to see where the root bone is being used in the graph, you can just type in root in the search bar and hit enter. It'll show you all the matching results so you can double click on any result and that'll focus the graph on that particular node. Then there is details panel where you can access and edit properties related to all the control spaces and joints you have created. Also for all the nodes placed in the rig graph. Then there's preview scene settings which allows you to switch skeletal mesh in the viewport. It also lets you change the viewport lighting and post process settings. We now have a control rig blueprint all set up with the hierarchy to start creating some controls. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up to help me with the YouTube algorithm even with smaller videos like this and subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified each time I post a video. Let's move on to the next video where we'll get started with basics of controls, bones and spaces and how and when can we use them. Until the next time, see ya!